And we had gone to Germany to spend our vacation with them and Dave's brother and his wife. So there were six of us. And as Dave likes to tell people, that was the last time I used my, as he called them, my beautiful legs. <laughs> and before we could get that car started again, there was a train coming. I mean, this was all within seconds and as fast as he could. And he grabbed me and he had me in his arms. And then the train hit. Ready to put me in the ambulance. I could see them pick up a shoe that had a foot in it. So they um, operated on me that night and saved my life. And they the just- parents for one. Oh, they were, they were just devastated. And now as a parent, I could understand that. At that time, I don't know that I understood that, but I think about it now and I think, how did my parents and Dave's parents, <clears throat> must've been the worst thing that had ever happened to them to come over and look at your daughter who's now, I, I, I told people I looked like an egg because once- all Because you went on to become a professor in, was it radiology? Yes. Done with that, I realized this is this is my niche. This is this is a group of people I can connect with because we're all in the same boat. And like filing my fingernails. Dave was cutting my fingernails for years, and one day I finally figured out how to do that. It's caught, and Parkinson's is the same way now. It's kind of like okay, now my hand doesn't work as well because it's getting slow. Well, okay, so it's a game. That's exactly what it is, and I'm I always figure I'm going to win. I think I, I did think that for a while. And then I thought that doesn't do me any good. All that does is just make me angry. And mm -hmm. I don't have enough energy to be angry. So I got over that pretty quickly because I mean, it, it's a little bit selfish, but I, the people that I meet are incredible. And it just, it's what all of us, it's what makes us all feel better. And I think that's what Parkinson's support. So, uh, you know what I need? I need a way to exercise. I have trouble. I, I, it's hard for me to get my heart rate up and sweat. Our personalities kind of pushed and edged each other. And when I needed to be pushed, he was more than willing to push. And I would sit there and think, okay, this is, he, he really believes this. He really wants people to see me. He wants people to see that he loves me. I mean, that was. Um, I, I think for now, whenever I start to have a pity party of myself, I'm going to say, forget it, Mike. And, you know, Parkinson's is nothing, right? It's no big deal. Well, we can have it for about a minute and then we have to figure out how to make ourselves laugh or get someone else to laugh. Yeah. But then immediately I noticed that you, that you kind of flipped that to, okay, so what am I going to do today? Right. And back to what I can do. Right. And that with depression and anxiety from the chemical dump <laughs> that we get? Uh, my, my initiating symptom was anxiety. That you see. Well, we gotta, you gotta look at your advantages. I have an advantage over you because I can't fall. Or I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I laughed, I, I laughed in your book where you said that uh, when you get your legs for the first time, it was now you can walk down and look people in the eye instead of you, you, you're at crotch level now, and now you're at eye level with everybody. Exactly. Well, I think you know, I've, I've often told people if you were to draw my blood, I think there's probably a happy gene in there, absolutely. And we can't always feel on top of the world, but we can feel better. And I think that's what all of us want. I mean, 